You welcome to Christian Forum. Once again, Happy New Year to all our viewers. My name is Pastor Victor Ola. It is my pleasure once again to be part of your days and to thank God for what the Lord has begun in your, in your homes and in your family. And uh, today, um, greeting from um, Pastor Obeniyi, my, my partner in, in, in the Lord. And I pray that the Lord will use this program today to establish you more, to open you into a, a, a new dimension of glory in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, welcome once again, this is Christian Forum. And today, uh, our test shall be taken from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19, I read. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will make a way in the wilderness and a river in the desert. Eternal Rock of Ages, we thank you. Alpha and Omega, we exalt your name. We thank you because you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You remain the unchangeable changer, Lord. We glorify your name for another new year, another time to honor your name, another time to exalt your holy name. Father, be exalted in the name of Jesus. We thank you for our viewers. We thank you, Lord, for touching their life. We thank you for a new beginning of another new year. We, pro we prophesy into their life that this year shall be a year of increase, a year of divine establishment, a year of multiplication, a year of abundant blessings in the Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. As we speak your word, breathe over your word and let your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. Brethren, once again, I want you to know that God has a promise for you. The promises of God, they are yea and amen. Standing on his promises. Standing on his promises. In this new year, we all have our goals and expectations. And we all have our plans. But do you put in place the plan that you want God to do for you? What are the plans that you are looking onto as you enter, as we usher into another new year? The standing on the promises of God. As we have seen in this particular verse, remember ye not the former things, and neither consider the things of the old. The former things, the, the last year has, you know, has gone by, and this is another new dispensation. This is another new year that God wants to do wonders in your life. This is another new year that one go, wants to do wonders in your family. This is another new year that God wants to establish you. And I prophesy into your life today that God shall do wonders in your home. God shall establish you in the name of Jesus. Are you standing on the promises of God in this new year? Are you standing on the promises of God for what the Lord has prepared for you? Are you standing on the promises of God for he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. God promises they are everlasting. God promises they are sufficient for his people. I want you to know today that the promises of God is all in the scripture. It's everywhere that you can think of. What are the ways by which you can begin to inherit and annex these promises of God? The first thing you have to do today is to get yourself into a position where God can bless you. Position yourself in this new year. Position yourself in this new dispensation. How do you position yourself? By getting into a constant and a divine relationship with the Lord. Just like what Joshua said in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. The Bible made it clear. It said, do not let this book of life depart from thy mouth. It said, meditate in it day and night and in it you will prosper and you will have good success. Are you, do you, every one of us this new year, we want to prosper. We want to have good success. And God 
wants you to prosper. It is the will of God for you to be successful. It's not the will of God for you to live the way you live in the, in the previous year. God wants you to advance to another level of glory. He wants you to advance to another level of dimension. He wants you to advance to another level of, of, of prosperity. Standing on the promises of God, you have to put yourself in the position that where God can reach out to you. Are you putting yourself in that position where God can reach out to you? Study to show thyself approved. The word of God is what we need that we prosper our life, that we enrich our soul, that we establish us in the knowledge of his will. Everything that we know about God, the promises of God is based on all that you know about God. How much do you know God? How much do you want to go what is your preparation in this new year to get into a relationship with the Lord? Position yourself. And God is going to establish you more in the name of Jesus. Another place where you can have the standing promises of the Lord is for God himself. It's for you to be able to know that you are serving a living God. God said, I will give you peace like a river. I will give you peace like a river. The peace of God brings the favor of the law. The peace of God establishes us in all areas of our life. The peace of God opens doors that no man can shut. There are examples in the scripture of most of the patriarchs, those who have, you know, whom we look up to, who are really in, 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 in constant communion with the Lord. I want you to know about the life of Abraham. Abraham in Genesis chapter 17. We go to Genesis chapter 17, verse 2. Genesis chapter 17, I read from verse 2. From verse 2 to 3. He said, I will make my covenant between me and thee, and I will multiply thee exceedingly. And a and Abraham fell on his face, and God talked with him. God is, ask, is telling you today that my covenant with you is everlasting. The covenant of peace is what I'm going to give you in this, this new year. The covenant of enlargement is what I'm going to give you this new year. But all we need to do is to position ourselves and receive that peace of God. Many of us today, when it comes to new year, when we know, when we, when we enter into another new year, we list our plans. We have our own agenda. We have our program that we are looking unto the law for. But the Lord is telling you today, right now, that all you need to do is seek me while you may find me. Seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto it. God wants to prosper you. God wants to enlarge your coast. God wants to establish you. God wants to take you to another dimension. They, they, they said, forget about the former things. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. In your family, God is going to do new things. In your businesses, God is going to do new things. In your finances, God is going to do new things. This new year, you will look back and you will glorify your God that is in heaven. I want you to know today that the will of God for you is to prosper. This new year, this, throughout this year, you will sing a new song. Throughout this year, you will sing a song of thanksgiving. Throughout this year, you will sing a song of appreciation to the Lord. They said, the Lord said in his word, he said, forget about the former things and behold, I'm doing a new thing. What are the things that you are still holding on to? What are the things that, you are, that is still troubling you? What are the things that is still giving you nightmare? And you cry unto the Lord. He said, behold, cast all your cares on me, for I care for you. I want to speak to somebody right now. God said, cast all your cares on me. God said, cast all your cares on me. God said, I'm able to be your body bearer. I'm able to carry those loads. I'm able to take care of all the needs. Do you need helps? Do you need divine healing? Do you need divine assurance? Do you need divine direction? Do you need divine breakthrough? God said, I'm able, and God is able, exceedingly abundantly able, to do more than we can ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. 